So at half eight on Tuesday morning, I ordered a tow bar for my Renault Megane, and at nine o'clock Thursday morning, it arrived. So it should take maybe about an hour, an hour and a half to fit. So even though I am a male aged 18 to 40, I'm still going to read the fitting instructions because there's lots of different bolts and that that have to go in the right place. And I think we might have a little bit of a problem with this exhaust because it's, well, I don't know whether it's the right one for it. It came from a saloon car and I think they're actually the same, but the way I've mounted it might be a little bit off standard. So I'll take down that exhaust box. I might need to take down that exhaust guard as well. I don't really need that anyway. Now you can see the chassis rail of the car, there's one on either side. It's just kind of a, a U-shaped piece of steel used to strengthen the body. And obviously that's hollow, so you can't just put a bolt through it and squeeze it in because it'll squash the actual rail itself. Um, so they give you these things here, which is a, a little collar that slides into the chassis. And you slide that in from one side because one hole is bigger on one side. And then when you go to tighten the, the nut onto that bolt, it actually uh, squashes up against that collar there rather than uh, squashing the chassis rail itself so the side brackets are the first thing you, sit, you fit on <coughs> they mount to the chassis rail to the back of the car right, I won't tighten anything completely because it'll probably be a little bit of fiddling around to get stuff to fit on now all car manufacturers will provide mounting points at the back of the car for things like tow bars and Renault gives you these on the back cross member, they're little keyholes, uh, but there's no captive nut or anything, you couldn't put a bolt in there. So that's where these clever little things come in, you basically slide those into the hole and rotate them around, so that metal piece there actually grips on the inside of the cross member of the chassis, and it has an M8 thread in it so you can thread a bolt into it. Resume. You put them in like that, and then rotate them around there, and they sit in nicely. Oh, perfect, it just clicks in. Right, so I have my two side mountings in. They're the main mounts that go to the chassis rails, which are there and there. And I also have the mounting on the back chassis cross member, which is that angle, uh, piece of angle iron there. And another one on this side, so I'll just offer up the actual tow bar frame now. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. I have it all mounted in there now, all the bolts are loose. You have to leave everything loose until you have each part actually bolted up together and then tighten the things, otherwise you just won't get it to fit. I um, also have to put on my tow ball and lighting kit, which will take a little bit of time, but that was very easy. I was actually really impressed with this, which is such a simple thing, but uh, it's a cover for the actual light socket. And the biggest problem with the light sockets on your car not working is water ingress, and that's an absolutely brilliant idea. Although, I'll be fairly confident within a few months that'll get stolen off it, but anyway. Lovely. 